Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm King Dino. I'm Adam and this is Twyla. And on this weekend, we've headed to Cresswick. That's a town uh, in middle of Victoria. We're staying maybe around 10 minutes from town actually at a campground, which is called Slatty Creek. Um, there's three, uh, three camping spots and we've got number two. And it's absolutely gorgeous. Look at this place and look at our spot here. It looks absolutely beautiful. Perfect. And we have some special people with us. So we do have a little mob with us this weekend in their new caravan, their quokka. In their quokka van. And so we're going to see them in a minute. Yep, so we'll just spend the weekend with those guys and have a great time here. Now, if you're new to our channel, make sure you go down the bottom and like and subscribe and tell your friends about us. And definitely stay tuned to the end because we're going to be doing a lot of stuff this weekend. It's going to be jam-packed. And also we've got a new feature, Adam. Oh, there's, a, there's a thanks feature. So if you're enjoying the channel, um, you're welcome to contribute or you know make a financial uh, contribution to help the channel grow and help with our expenses on the road. All right, guys. Well, let's get into this episode. So we're very happy with the spot we got. It's very level. It just looks beautiful with the trees going up behind it. And then there's plenty of other people here. We've got a couple of tents and a swag with a ute. And then over here, you've got a camper trailer and then a few more tents down the back and even a tent on top of the four-wheel drive by the looks of it in the background there. But otherwise, here's Laura and Rob with their, their Quokka van. Now, we'll have to go over and see how they've been going. They've been a few away a few times since they were in our episode when we were on Lake Centrance, if you want to check that out. Definitely check it out because there's a really good episode. Lee and Kristen come along with us. But anyway, we'll head over and see what they're cooking for us for dinner. Welcome back, Rob. How you been? Good. Now we'll definitely get um, ask you a few questions about your quokka and how it's been yeah. going and you on the road and everything. And you too, Laura. Hello. hello. Welcome back hello, to our channel. Hello. <laughs> now look at look at Laura go. She's doing a cracking job there. Look at that. Sort Smells so good. What are you cooking tonight, guys? Chicken schnitzel with a mushroom with sauce. Mushroom, creamy sauce. And where did you get this recipe from? It's from uh, the Weber. It's from the Weber. The Weber um, recipe book? We bought a Weber fry pan that come with a little booklet and um, oh, yeah. just a couple of good little recipes Ooh, in it. Ooh, okay. Camping, cooking. Can we see the picture so we, I make sure that That's it's going to look the, the same? Uh, <laughs> it'll be close. Quiet. Oh, it's getting there. It's getting there. Not bad, not bad. And we've got Dusty back. So Dusty yeah. is their little dog. And um, he's been barking up a storm since we've been here. But anyway, I'm sure he'll settle down. All right, wow. What are you, oh, you're doing the other part of this meal. Yeah, these are the schnitzels. Oh, they look good. So they are looking pretty good. Yum, eh, hey, Rob? Oh, they're both at it. We didn't hand crumb them though, so. You didn't hand crumb them? No. Well, I'm going home now. No. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, time. no, Next I'm time. too hungry to go home. Yeah. <laughs> So it's dinner time for Twyla. We just arrived, and what have you got for dinner, Missy? Huh? Just on the prize, yeah. Um, so we've got dry food, a mix of wet, and some fresh veggies that were just boiled up, and carrots and pumpkin. You ready for dinner? Ready for dinner? Yes. Good girl. Eat them up. Manja, manja. Looks amazing, Adam. Mm -hmm. What do you reckon? Yeah, it does look good. I yeah, think Twyla's gonna probably to watch potato. some. You go. Good job, Rob. Straight. Look at Rob. He's like yeah, into it. He's really good. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Even though you cooked it, you're saying it's good. Um, yeah. Nah, it looks good. If you guys survive through the night without being sick, then <laughs> we've done a really good job. <laughs> Although I'm worried because there is cream in it, and we might have to go to the toilet. So. Oh no! <laughs> and how far the tools from here? Six hundred meters. Six hundred meters. So that's one thing I will add before we eat. The toilets are at um, a campsite one, and we are at campsite two. There is a campsite three. Do you know if there's any other campsites? Is it just up to three? Um, so if you are here, you need to walk there or drive to the toilets, um, to the drop toilets. We don't need to go to the toilet. This food might make us go to the toilet. But anyway, let's get into it and enjoy. Yeah. 
Dinner was nice. Now we're going straight onto the fire. We're going to get the fire cracked up. Rob brought all this leftover. What, what's this? Where would you get this from? Oh, it's from a tree in the backyard. In the backyard? <laughs> Saving it for a special occasion. Oh, good, good. This is a special occasion. And check out this fire pit. It's massive. Now, we're going to cook in this tomorrow night. It's going to be great. Um, this Rob's just trying to get his stack right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You doing all right, Rob? Yeah, it's good, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that's good. Looks good. And um, yeah, so anyway, we're gonna get this fire happening and have a few drinks around it. Laura, what are you doing? So, because we're off grid, I'm trying to save water. So I've just got a bit of warm water and dishwashing liquid in um, this spray bottle. Yeah. Uh, so I will we'll wash the dishes later, but it's sort of giving them a pre rinse, so oh, they're not so dirty. So, and then I know yeah. she'll using paper towel. And paper so, towel, so... which then will burn in the fire. So, oh yeah, cool. Yeah. That's where yeah. our fire is coming from at the moment, hey. That's why it's yeah, a bit <laughs> smoky. A bit but, smoky. Uh, yeah, so but hopefully yeah, this perfect. works. Yeah. And have you found that effective? So far, so good. Yeah. The plates look pretty clean, but they'll still get another Oh, they wash, look like but... they're ready to go to eat tomorrow night. Yeah. <laughs> maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. Another wash. I think we only just the other day got a question about spiders on our van. Wow, wow, wow. So I was just sitting in that seat and then the guy saw this huntsman above me and I was like, I actually, actually uh, excuse, Rob, was I pretty calm? Oh, you got out of the chair pretty quick. <laughs> I think I pissed my I pants. Say spider and you said spider and yeah, 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 should yeah. I, I, I said, should I run? Should I go? Anyway, it's so. Right. It's moved. So. We got the shovel. Oh no! Uh, aren't we going to spend to let it live? No, I'm going to let it live. It's you're going to you're going to move it away. It's moved. What did what did Laura say? Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. We don't kill it. Oh, we're not killing it. We're just going to let it live somewhere else. All right, Rob. You're the only male here. Go do that. Oh look. Look it out there. Yeah. Oh look at Rob's muscles. Here he goes. No, no, no. Ow! 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 Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I can't handle it. I'll just see the like this. <laughs> Is it off the yard? Uh... There you go, we didn't kill it. Oh, Rob's our hero. Thanks, Rob. Oh, ice cream time. What is the dessert? Ooh, Adam's happy. Oh, okay, I'll have a raspberry. Adam is making these. I'll have a raspberry or strawberry. Oh, oh, Dean. No, I don't do ice creams. What? Well, you don't. But these are, these are chips. Uh, one thing about going camping with other people is you learn a lot of tips. We've already learned about Laura's cleaning tip tonight. Now, Rob's got another one for us. He's done something to his van and we're going to find out what it is. Okay, I've just kind of given it a bit of a hint of what it is. So what have you done, Rob, to your well, van? We picked this up from other travellers, but... um. Our, our lights for outside were really, really bright and they were yeah. attracting lots of bugs. Yeah. So these people come up with this idea and you buy, it's called lens orange tape. You can buy it from Super Cheap Auto, uh, super, super, super Cheap Center, and you pretty much just stick it on and then cut around it so it sits nicely in the lights and it gives you an orange light which deters the bugs. So. Oh, fantastic. Um, Oh, it's this stuff. Oh, cool. Auto cool. lens repair tape. Oh, there you go. I got it from, um, what was it? Did you say what about? Cheap, oh, super cheap, cheap auto. Super cheap auto. Oh, there you, you go. You can get it from Auto Barn as well. Yeah, yeah. What just a great a, tip. Just a good tip. And you get, it's like a metre long. So, so you've got plenty of You zoo. can do all your lights. You can do heaps, whatever. It's, yeah. Okay. Perfect for that. And just chowing down on his ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, mm. your tape doesn't work quite for Humpston's. Oh, hunting spiders. Flying insects. <laughs> flying insects? Mm. Oh, only flying insects, not stuff with eight legs. All right. Yeah. You look comfy. So we've had our coffees and we thought we'd take the dogs for a walk. It is absolutely gorgeous around here. Check out this. It looks so nice. And we'll just uh, 
I just walk in front of me, but this the sun coming through, it just looks so beautiful. Now, one thing this area is known for is its gold. There is gold in these hills, they say. So we are gonna maybe give panning a go while we're here. We're just gonna go in town and buy a pan. Um, and I'm gonna find out if you need a license. I know for the metal detectors, you do need a license. Rob's got his, he's got his license, he's got it. So he's gonna show us how he does that. He's only new to it. So um, he'll be the blind leading the blind. And uh, yeah, so it'd be interesting to see how he goes. And if we get like it, we might go out and get our license and get one in the future. But otherwise, yeah, if you want to come down and grab some gold, there's plenty in the water. Dusty's become a reindeer. <laughs> Help your friend out, Twyla. She's he's stuck. Oh, no. I'm oh, look, Dusty's already digging for gold. Did he found any? Did he find any gold? We have to train him to sniff oh, out Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dig. Keep going. Dig, 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 dig. <laughs> So we're just heading back from our walk and um, I'll show you. So we're over there and then this is a bit of a view you get of that same creek. You can just hop in there and pan away. So we've definitely got to try that later. And um, now we're heading back for breakfast. So we're back from our walk and uh, we're just getting our breakfast ready. Well, we're not. Laura, what are you cooking us? We are making Spanish style chorizo beans and eggs. And is this out of your new special magic book? Out of our Weber recipe book. How good's that be? Yeah. There's two recipes this yeah. weekend. And they're quite easy. So, yeah. you know, someone like myself. <laughs> <laughs> Give yourself more credit. That yeah. meal last night was quite nice, but this is it so, here. So we're expecting this quality. And uh, better look like this, otherwise, you know, we want a refund. But yeah, so we got um, what, what have we got here? Chorizo, so, and then that's just cheese, the sugar, paprika, and chili flakes. Oh, that looks good. And, and garlic, garlic. Oh, this is gonna be good. Doing a good job there, Rob. Hopefully, smells good. It does smell good. That's looking good, Rob. Yeah. What's that in there? We've got eggs in there. So. Oh, so you cook the eggs. It's like poaching eggs yeah. inside the soil. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be tasty. Got a mix of chorizo and baked beans and then the oh, bit of onion. Paprika and onion and garlic. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. It smells delicious. Yeah, yeah. Those yeah. eggs are coming along. Yeah. Right, here we go with the first lot. Oh, look at this. How good. We've even got a bit of topper on there. That looks delicious. That does look really good. I oh, know, this is crazy. They're going to want us to keep doing this all the time. Right? Yeah. Um. <laughs> well, these guys have really turned up the dial. Check this out. This is their second meal they've cooked us this weekend. Normally, it's us doing all the cooking, but these guys are taking it to the next level. Oh, what are we going to come up with for tonight's dinner, Adam and I, and for tomorrow's breakfast to top this? Will we be able to do it? Who knows? Well, we've had our breakfast and now we're heading to the toilets. So campsite two doesn't have any toilets whatsoever, but um, campsite one does have the drop toilets. So we're walking there now. It's about 500 meters, so it's not far at all. But um, most people I've noticed have been driving up there this morning to go to the toilet and then driving back. But we're doing the old fashioned way. We're walking. So now we're coming to camp one. Now, Camp 1's got the river going through it, or whatever you want to call that. And then over there is another part where you can camp. And then you've got your main part. And there is the toilet. And you can camp right next to the toilet if you get a spot. Um, that's no problems at all. So, yeah, this is it. It's a bit of a roundabout in the middle. <laughs> and, um, 
yeah, people were camping all along here last night. So it was a bit full, but I actually prefer where we're staying. You just don't have the luxury of the toilets right next to you. But otherwise, it's time to go. <laughs> next to the toilets, they've got a couple of good signs that show you all the different walks, gives you a really good um, detailed map there, tells you all about the area. So if you need to read anything on here, I'll just pause it there for you and um, have a read. Also, if you're into native plants, you can check out this, which tells you all about the native plants in the area. So that's quite nice too. So this part of the map's really cool because you can see this is where the toilets are. Then down here is where we're camping. And our, our area is a bit bigger. And then there's number three, which we haven't been to, but that's a bit further up. And then soon we're going to be heading to Creswick for the day and go into town and show you guys the town and what you can get up to in the town. Now this place is definitely fun for the whole family. We've got a massive family over here, all with their pans. They're panning away, having a good old time. There's even a pram left there. There might be a golden nugget in the bottom of that pram. But anyway, and then we've got a guy over here. He's sifting through some stuff now. There's so many people out fossil here. And then he's even got this trap, I don't know, what do you call it? Contraption? I don't know. But um, yeah, how cool is this? And it's capturing all the different things as it goes down. So hopefully get some gold. Welcome to Creswick. We've just arrived. It's only 10 minutes from where we're staying. So it's a quick drive here. We're going to show you what you can get up to in town when you're visiting. Also, our first stop is actually going to be to a, I'll give you the name, prospecting shop. Rob and uh, Adam are in there right now checking it out. I'm a bit worried that Adam's going to walk out with a $2,000 gold mining thing and a license to use it. But let's hope not. Let's just, let's just start with a dish and work our way up from there. So Rob, how'd you go in the prospecting shop? Yeah, really good. He's a really nice guy. He gave me a uh, couple of little tips and some places to go. So hopefully this afternoon... Are they secret? Can we tell anyone? No. Uh, no, it's got to be secret. All right. All right, let's find, see if we can see what happens this afternoon. Yeah, very excited. Can't wait. So just in the side street of the town is the Magic Plum Pudding Playground. This is something they've been building for a little while. They're doing it in stages, but it's really cute. So there is a story book, The Magic Plum Pudding. Um, that's the character there. Well, that's the plum pudding there. And then you got this character here, which is a koala. And then over here, they've got another picture of another one of the characters here. And inside, it's all fenced off. There's a little bit of play equipment, a cubby, a boat. So yeah, so if you've got kids, come and visit the uh, plum pudding garden. Now, if you're wondering why they have the plum pudding gardens here, it all comes from this. Basically, this house here in the background is where this family grew up. Yeah. What was the family name? Uh, the Lindsays. The Lindsays? And the father, I've forgotten his name, Dr. Oh, Dr. Lindsay. He was a physician. This is going back to the mid-1800s, 1860, 1870. And then the children's five children, they become uh, illustra well, illustrators, so well-known and very um, uh, skilled illustrators. And they appeared in local newspapers and magazines over many years. This is their home growing up. And I've just spun around the back of the ball because this is some of the the um, pictures work. and work. And um, there's actually a QR code. So if you want to know a bit more about it, you can scan that. But otherwise, yeah, this is it. And um, just show some of the illustrations. Looks like the uh, 
town hall's getting a facelift, if that's what it is. So I've got a really nice big clock behind there. So I'll have to stay tuned to see what happens there. So Adam has found his bakery. It looks absolutely amazing in there. The food looks incredible. I might head in and film some of it so you can see. And Adam's just deciding what he actually wants. Okay, here's the first victim. Oh, okay. oh, what did you get, Laura? A caramel <coughs> slice. Caramel slice. Adam? Uh, lemon and mint. Are you going to have that later? We're going to share. Who? You, you and I. I'm not having it. Well, yeah. You, you know I don't have mint. You like lemon, no. though. No. You like lemon. You know, lemon so I'll have half of the lemon and I'll have the mint. All right. Yeah. So we're having them later, but? Yes. All right. Or maybe on the way back to the car. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're a shocker. If you're somebody with an electric car, they do have two spots here where you can charge your car up and come visit for the day. Rob's heading into the information center. I think he's trying to look for a map so he can find more places to hunt for gold. Farmers Arms Hotel, which is the end of town. So we're here for a light lunch. Um, it is a pub, so they've got the outdoor seating area if, if you've got a dog um, or if it's warm. You do have indoor eating as well, indoor indoor eating, indoor seating, pool table, uh, beer garden, um, yeah, food and drinks. What a great spot to stop for somebody to eat and drink. We really enjoyed it. We met up some friends, had some lunch, and uh, now we're gonna move on. Just across the road from where we just were, you've got this really nice park where they've got a basketball court, they've got a skating area, and also they've got a water park. There's a party going on right here right now. They're all getting in there, so we're gonna take a Twyla and Dusty through the water, so they get a bit of a play. In case you get stuck and you need to grab something, there is an IGA across from the water park. Just headed down to St. George's Lake. We've just come across this, which is a different walk you can do. And um, it shows you where you can go and all the Elevations, is that how you say that? Elevations, um, and then yeah, it just shows you where you are. Oh, at the... there's Mount Franklin there, guys. So, oh, yeah, Mount Franklin. Mm. If you what see I'm... our channel, we've got a couple episodes on that. Yeah, we love Mount Franklin, it's awesome. But anyway, we're gonna head over now. There's a lot of people over there swimming, and go check it out. So we hear from the locals, this is the spot to come have a swim. Now, we're not swimming today. Adam, did you want to swim? No, I'm not dressed for it. Not dressed um, for it? I'm in my Melbourne. I may dip her paws in. Yeah, we might get Twyla in there. But um, I want to. I want I'm want in to. my Melbourne attire, wearing all black. But anyway, <laughs> we're just doing the half an hour walk that you can do, which is guys, supposedly half an hour. It could be longer. We haven't done it yet. Um, and yeah, it's basically a track all the way around the lake and uh yeah there's plenty of people on there with canoes and um, a lot of families so it's a really nice happening place to be in this town st george's lake is a local favorite for swimming walking photography once a mining dam known as govi dam the lake has been developed into a picturesque haven for relaxing and recreation the main picnic area features free electric barbecues, picnic table, benches, grass lawns and toilets. 
we definitely recommend doing the walk around the lake. You get some really beautiful views and fantastic vantage points to get photos. We just recommend you wear comfortable shoes that have good support because there is a little bit of elevation, but it still is an easy walk. It's only 1.8 K, so it takes less than half an hour to do the whole walk. We do it with our dogs, as you can see, and they were fine. Just make sure you wear your sunblock because there are parts where the sun will beam down on you if it's a sunny day. But anyway, enjoy the rest of this walk because we definitely did. We're back at camp after our walk. Now with all that walking, uh, we decided that, well, the guys have decided they're gonna crack open the stuff from the bakery. So we'll check out what they've got. And we Rob's- We need a reward. <laughs> we need a reward, Adam said. Yeah. And we've got uh, Rob's got his- What do they call it? Gold metal protector. Te gold protector. Out, ready to go. So he's just gonna put it together. But um, we'll see how we go. What are you gonna strike it rich. Strike it rich, I reckon? Could. Our jobs and quit our jobs. <laughs> this is what they got. So he's got a vanilla. No, what's that one? Not vanilla. Slice. A lemon. A lemon. Don't, don't mind if I do. And um, what's the other one? Caramel slice. Caramel. You always get the caramel slice. Mm -hmm. It looks really fresh. Mm. Yeah. It is. Okay, we're giving the thumbs up. Mm -hmm. yeah. And now we're trying the caramel slice. Has Rob had some? I don't know. I don't think Look how thick the um, chocolate is on it. Oh. Okay. All right. Mm. Are we getting a better answer than just good? Or just the thumbs up? Delicious. <laughs> Bloody finish eating. That good. That good. Mm. Finger licking good. Mm. Okay, things are starting to get a little bit more serious. We've got these here so we can go pounding for gold now if we want. This is Rob's. So you've got the little bowl. Then you've got this one that's the sieve. And then he got the big pan there. And then he's gone and got his second. So this is the first one he ever brought, this wasn't is it? Like a real cheapy one. Yeah. Um maybe more for kids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um still a little bit of fun. I've yeah. only ever used it once, I think. Yeah. Um and then there's the uh the coup de McGrath. Well I guess for the novice, um this is probably top of the range for your basic um, oh, okay. stuff. Although the professionals do use them, but you want to spend the money, you go for the really, really big stuff. And how much does something like this set you this back? This was about a thousand dollars. thousand bucks. It was on sale from Anaconda. Um, but yeah, a lot of a lot of people use these because they're, they're great for just your muck around day. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And you will find gold with it, but just not. Not very deep, maybe a foot underground. Oh this yeah, is about cool. the deep sort of go there. Again, I'm not, I'm a novice, so I don't really know what I'm doing. If you do, you got to get on YouTube and watch lots of people uh, doing it, detecting. And well, that could be you soon once you know what you one learn day. how to yeah. do it. Hopefully, uh, <laughs> I'll find the big nugget and um, drive off into the sunset. Yeah. <laughs> Why Rob sets that up? He's set this up before. So this is what are you trying to do here, Rob? Well, so. This is a bit of a testing thing, It's more thing, of a test. It? I'm just yeah. testing out the gear. So I've got a King's 200 amp uh, solar panel uh, yep. blanket. And I've got I've only got two solar panels on my roof with a 200 amp battery, lithium battery. Um, at the moment, we're running at about 97%. So we're doing okay. This is just a test. Yeah, this I've got is a couple of things running. It draws in. And I just wanted to see how much I can draw in as to how much I'm losing. Yeah. And so I'm running pretty much it zero I'm, I'm losing but i'm gaining so yeah uh, but it's not great uh sun because yes. of all the trees yeah we've got lots of trees um, but it is still coming through a little bit there's a right yeah. there and um well, this is we've been here for a, over a night now and this morning we were at about 81 percent and yeah. when we went for a drive for a couple of hours come back and we're up near 97 percent. so we're getting solar coming through yeah um but yeah this is all just a test to See, um, when we did purchase the van, I did ask for him to put an extra Anderson plug on the drawbar so that that way I could plug in 
Yeah, so I'll show you that. So this is the, um, oh, it's on the other side, but so it runs, the cord runs and it plugs in on the outside. Actually, we'll walk around Rob and show them. Now, if you want to check out these guys, van, we have a full episode where um, the, the people that made this van takes us, Rob and I, through the whole van, the outside, the inside, and show you how it all works. Um, so they're, La Vista's the company that makes this, and uh, they call this one the Quokka. Now, and this is where my Anderson plug is. Yeah. Um, not sure why it's on this side of the van, but um, I guess that's where they felt was the best. You could probably put it anywhere. Put yeah, it. but I mean, it calls long enough, so you can yeah. have it anyway. And then uh, if you're wondering what this is, that's for their diesel heater. So that's the exhaust yep. for that. But anyway, we're definitely not using uh, heaters this weekend. No, we don't need it. It was, nah. um, it was really nice. Over yeah. The so before Rob heads out to go get his golden nugget, He's just checking his power input. Show us your app, Rob. Uh, it's the Anadrive uh, app. So oh, yeah. It just hooks up Bluetooth to the, the battery system that's in there, and it's just another monitor. I've got a monitor inside, or you can use the app. So at the moment, we're actually running it positive 2 amps. So it's not a lot, but we're not losing anything and we've got a couple of things on and we're actually yep. gaining some so the sun's picked up a little bit all right so rob is about to go off on his own little adventure he's starting now if he finds any gold i'm probably going to hit him over the head from behind and steal the nugget oh have you already found something no it's um i don't think it's anything oh. it kind of has I can kind of tell if it's um, possibly in the gold or iron side, or it's just um, silver or something. Yeah. Uh, aluminium. Uh, I can tell the difference. Can you use your gold, your your uh, wedding ring to see? Uh, what, yeah, does that, that kind of tell you? That will show. It's a bit hard because I can't see, but when you do that. Oh, that's the sound. So that's the sound. Ooh. Oh that's, well, that's gold. Um, if there's one thing we learnt today, is that your ring's re real. Well, it's, co it's, it's coated in gold or something. That... <laughs> All right, well, Rob, we'll leave you to it. Come back and tell us. I'm gonna make millions. Yeah, awesome. Fire is on. While Rob goes and looks for gold, I'll be getting dinner ready with Adam. It's our turn to cook tonight. So we're just getting the fire ready because we're going to be using the camp oven. Now, I'm going to admit something. For the very first time, I wasn't double checking everything. Adam has forgotten the potatoes. Like one of the key things to making a roast. And we left them at home. So anyway, so tonight, we'll let's go over to Adam and see what we're having with our roast. Is that a Oh, well, this is Adam in the wild. Always mentioning about the bugs. We're in the bush, Adam. We're in their world. Now, anyway, so I've told everyone. We're a city boy in the bush. And look what happens. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> I told everyone about the bad news. Oh, you already had. You didn't have to. Well, I mean, if, if we when just they said, when if they watch the video we're back, we're making a roast. It still it's, it sounds good. What roast in this world doesn't have potato? I mean, really. <laughs> so anyway. So tonight, look at Twyla, she's just woken up. She was fast asleep. I probably woke her up with my big voice. Yeah, I was yelling at her. Um, but she's going to back me up. Onion, carrot, and pumpkin. So that's, that's the it. roast veggies. That's it. That's all we're having. We're getting fed. So it can't well, yeah, yeah. And then also <laughs> we're making uh, Marylands. So we've got four Marylands, one each. And it's actually a good thing I've got the fourth one now. Yeah, thank so make God. Up for the potato. Yeah, and what was um what dressing are we doing on the Marylands? Oh, we just got we bought like a, a spice mix. So this oh, is yeah. like a peri peri spice mix. Oh, which it's gonna, just a rub. Which beautiful. Will, like a rub. So we'll put that over the chicken. Yeah. And then with the vegetables, it's just gonna be basic uh, rosemary, um, rosemary, parsley, salt, pepper, oil. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. So just keep it. Keep All it right. simple. Well, start cutting. Because you're going to make up for the fact that you didn't bring the potatoes. I still going to taste good. <laughs> so I think my plan has worked. I've put the piece of wood straight across. It's burnt through. Now it's time to see if I can crack it. 
and then I've got myself two big bits of water for the fire. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Tell me who's the Bushmaster. Woo! Now I'm so happy. That looks like a good fire. Something that will cook a nice camp oven. Another thing I'm excited about on this trip, we're using our cover for the first time. Look how clean it is. This is so not going to be this clean ever again. But um, these, you know what? We were umming and ahhing about this for so long because we were putting our pots in a, a pillowcase, wasn't it, Adam? In a pillowcase. It was working for the time. And it was working, but the ease of this, the way you can just pick it up, carry it where you want to go, it keeps it neat, tidy. Love it. Absolutely love it. Best money spent. Hey Adam, lucky it was only the potatoes we were missing because if it was the chicken, we might have been eating duck tonight. So to keep the fire going, Adam and I are out on our wood trip. What wood did you get, Adam? Well, I got distracted. Oh, Adam, I got this. Nathan was kindling. Oh, look what I got. I'm dragging a whole freaking tree back. Why, Adam has a friggin' stick. But anyway, body ratio. Body ratio, he goes. Well, the veggies are in, looking good. Adam's about to put a bit of oil over the Maryland. And, oh, actually, no, he's done the oil. He's putting, mm. he's putting a rub on there. And pretty much that's exactly what he's doing. He's going to be rubbing. That's it. And get them all covered. This and is a peri, I think I might have mentioned before. Yeah. That's a peri-peri. Peri-peri rub. Peri-peri rub with our Mary, our Mary Lanes. Yeah. This looks so um. good. <laughs> now, the last night and this morning, Laura and Rob cooked for us. So it's yeah, now time right. for Laura to kick back. And relax. Relax. <laughs> and we're taking over. How do you feel about the potato situation? Oh, pretty upset. I do You're upset. potatoes. Um, pretty disappointed in Adam, but, you know, yeah. I'll forgive him. Yeah, we'll forgive him. <laughs> okay, let's go. All right. So it's all done? On top. Yep. So we put the veggies down the bottom. I really wanted the potatoes to be the base, but that's not happening now. It's the veggies at the base. Um, we've got our little... So back in the day when we first started doing this, we had foil, but yeah. now we've got our little... Don't I don't know. Do what, do you, what do you call it? That little... <laughs> Is it a skillet? Is a skillet or or a skillet? Or I don't know. It's it's like a little tray thing that sits at the bottom with holes in it, trivet. and then trivet, a trivet, and then everything's on top now. So we're just going to throw the lid, in, lid on, and um, one thing you know what we didn't do, we didn't warm the pot up. Oh. But you know what? It's okay. It's still going to work. It's still going to work. Okay, it's time to put this on. Just chuck some coals in. It's going to sit on top. Now it's time to get some out. Got point here. Look at this. Look how good that looks. Just throw them on top. Get a few more. With our new shovel. This is our new shovel. We haven't used it yet. Can we make it level? Yeah, we can level that up. We're going to just check it. Oh, it's looking good. Ooh, okay, looking that's good. it. But, um, yeah, no, we're just about to maybe scrap off a bit of those coals on top, and then we're going to grab some new ones, some new ones in there, fired up. Well, Rob is back, so I'm excited. Are we millionaires? No. No, what are you talking about? Uh, well, it's very hard to find coal. <laughs> Uh, there's a lot of people been up here doing the same thing and lots of holes everywhere, but uh, you know, a couple what? of hours of fun. Oh, he's getting his head but in the pocket. Did you get a little bit, a little I bit? I found lots of these. Oh, what I is it? I think they're, um, they're, well, they're bullets. But oh, it's maybe, a bullet. I'm not sure what they are for, a rifle maybe or something, but um, there's so many of these out there. Wow. And lots of little ones. Yeah. And so people obviously hunt out there as well. Yeah. Um, so well, you yeah, made it back alive. You yeah. get shot, thank God. I think if it, if it had got a bit darker, well, then maybe I might have been the hunted. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm uh, done for the day. All right. Uh, well, fun, but we got dinner on. I'm still poor. <laughs> yeah, you poor, but you'll have dinner tonight. Yeah, but it was good fun. So. Oh, good. I can hear it. Boiling 
come out to the light. Check it out. Back spoiler, it's a bit hot. It smells good. It smells good. Get some of these because back. Okay. Oh, is that cooked? That looks cooked. Oh, yeah, that looks good. What did you say, Laura? It would be really good with potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, That's all right. But, all right, it's time to dish up. We've got our famous cheese board. I flipped it upside down. Multi purpose, people. So, uh, yeah, multi purpose. And, um, yeah. That looks good. It's a bit, it looks it's good. A bit, We've got a couple little bird bits, but, but that's the otherwise. Flavor to it. That's the flavour to it. Okay. It's, uh, yeah. What's the spice on it? Peri -peri. Looking good. Peri peri. Peri peri. peri, -peri. peri, -peri. Like Yummo. So the first piece is out, and it's looking pretty nice. We're using paper plates tonight. <laughs> Why is that, Laura? I Save know, water. Not... Save water. <laughs> 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 but um, do you know how much water it took to make those plates? Oh, yeah, don't yeah. worry about it. <laughs> Oops. Oh, okay. Is that my one? No, I can have it. So that's been burnt because that was on the side of the uh, camera. But look at these. These are good. Look at that. Nice. Mm. Little bit on top. Nice. Burnt. So we got some. And then here we go with the pumpkin. veggies. And that's what I was saying about the pumpkin. The bit at the bottom. It's kept it off the bottom. But uh, that looks yeah. like a potato. Something good. <laughs> That's it for a night. We're just packing up. Laura's inside packing the van up. Rob's out of here packing up. And we're just got to say goodnight to the locals, don't we, Rob? Yeah. They like what, local you, what locals are we talking about? Well, they just make themselves at home on, yep. my, on my van. So we had one last night. Now. That one, this one looks, even though it's smaller, it looks it a, looks a little <laughs> bit more dangerous. Wow. Yeah. It doesn't look too healthy. Look at the colours on it. Rob just um, moved the spider, and then we've now come across another spider. Look at this one. He's ugly as. Oh, he's got like warts or something on him. It's disgusting. Wow, look at that. Well, maybe they're eggs or something. I don't know. Probably it's... eggs. All right, well, good night, Rob. Um, uh, good luck with that. I'm locking the door. <laughs> Your van's just over there. Yeah. I think we'll be spraying our vans once we get home. Yeah. And now I'm back at the van and just outside our door. I've got this little baby spider climbing up. Lucky I had my light on. I would have walked straight into it. But now it's going up into the trees, so good on me. But <sighs> here we are. About to go in my van and hopefully not get bit by a spider. Good morning, Twyla. You're woken up with a nice view. Huh? So before we even eat breakfast today, we're heading down to do our first lot of panning. We've never done this before. Rob even is not an expert. He's been <laughs> scrubbing up on how to do panning through YouTube. So let's see how we go. Now there's a beautiful spot. These are our neighbors that we've been talking to, by the way. Um, they've just actually just picked up a van themselves and uh, they're trying their van out for the very first time last night. But anyway, besides that, we're going down here and um, look how beautiful it looks. It's absolutely gorgeous. Anyway, let's go down and start this panning. Okay, it looks like we have found our spot. So this yeah. is kind of what we've been looking for, a little bit of an catchment where we're going to dig a bit of that rock out now and we're going to find our gold. Hey, Rob. Oh, uh, yeah. So we are going yes. to find <laughs> So this is getting sort of set up. Tyler wants to be a part of it. And here we go. Our very first time looking for gold.
What do you do? So what do you do now, Rob? So gold's um, it's quite heavy. So it's a lot heavier than a lot of the the debris in here. So you, you're kind of shaking it up a little bit, tapping it, shaking it, swirling it to try and get the gold to the bottom, and then slowly start getting rid of some of this excess. Can you have too much in your? Yeah, you can. I've probably put quite a bit in there. But... Now, before the haters jump on, this is our very first time doing this. <laughs> <laughs> so we're not experts, but you've got to start somewhere. So Adam's having a go at the at panties. He's using the small tray. I'm still on the big tray. Oh, actually, I've done it wrong. Is that right? That's right. No, that's right, I think. Yeah. Hey, Dusty. And then just get some water in there. And... Hey. Good girl, brother. There that's we go. Fire. And then we can like, oh, So now don't um, just work on this one here. Just work on this small this. one. Yeah. Forget about that. You can come back to that. Or not. Yeah. <laughs> Rob? Are we glistening? Well, yeah. This is goldish colour. Have I struck it rich? No, not quite. No. Not quite. <laughs> oh, I can't it. Oh. oh, look at that nugget. Oh. Oh. Is that a bit wishful thinking? I oh, know. There's, there's my bit of gold. Look at that. Would that right. pay a house off? That would pay if a house off. If it was that size. It looks good. That will buy us a new van. Now we've got to do the whole squat thing. I don't know about this. Oh, yeah, that hurt. Yeah. Okay, Dusty, do oh. your duties. Look for gold. Oh, look. Dig. Come on. Dig. Is there any gold there, Dusty? Dig. Any gold? Dig, dig, dig. All right, so we've all had a go, and uh, it looks like we're all giving up because our stomachs are calling. Hey, Adam. We're looking forward to brunch. Brunch. It's now brunch. It's gone from breakfast to brunch. Mm. You want to go back? Yes. All right, we'll leave Rob here. And uh, Rob, are you going to come back with us later if you find some gold, or are you going to run away? Uh, yeah, we'll find out. If it's big, you probably won't see me. All right, cool. <laughs> all right, well, good luck, Rob. Yeah. I could be here for a while. You might just be here for a while. Well, we've definitely worked up an appetite, so it's Adam and I's turn to get breakfast on. And uh, oh, the world is shaking. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're having a big breakfast. Or so brunch now. Or brunch, brunch. Now we've got um, spinach, we've got some sourdough. sourdough. Looks like a wholemeal sourdough, is it? Or something. Oh, no. Seeded. Seeded. Yeah. And um, tomatoes, we've got mushrooms, we've got hash browns, we've got bacon, eggs. we've got eggs, and we've got some baked beans. Baked beans. So we're going to get all this on, and um, if I'm not tipping everything over, and get it started. This is the part that sucks. Going that? home. Yes, said. <laughs> I said this is the part that sucks. Going home. Yeah. So we're just cleaning up, getting everything done, get everything sorted, and then we've got our vans all packed, ready to go. Thanks, guys, for coming on another adventure. Thank Thanks, you. Guys. Thanks, Thanks Dean and great Adam. Weekend. Can't Twilight. wait to do it again. Yeah, yeah no, it's, it's going to be good. good. So we'll see you on another adventure then. Yeah, yeah soon. We'll get all right. <laughs> Hey, and by the way, go down the bottom and let us know who did the best cooking. I've got a feeling it was these guys, but, you know, yeah, I don't know. Well, the breakfast was, really breakfast was pretty good today. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, we'll see what everyone says. All right, to another adventure. We'll see you again. See you guys.
Well, that's it for another week, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We didn't quite get gold, did we? No, no, we didn't get gold. Tyler either. caught a fly. Just trying to get flies. <laughs> So yeah, maybe you'll get gold next time. And make sure if you haven't already, like and subscribe, tell your friends about us. And we'll see you on Sunday, 5 p.m. Next Sunday. Bye. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.